Hello, my friends. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to my gigalos and gigalettes. It's me, Geo. Y'all know who the fuck it is. All right. All right. Uh, if I'm out of sorts on this one, I'm super tired. I am super fucking tired. Didn't get enough sleep last night. Drank more than I should have, and I had a pretty long day of tasking today, so... This is the greatest Gator flavor ever. I don't care what anyone's, I will fight anyone that says that this is not the best flavor. Lime cucumber, Ugh, it's amazing. And I don't like, you know, all these people, hey, too much sugar, too much sugar, way too much sugar. G2, too much sugar. Give me all the sugar. <laughs> It's got how many grams of carbs? 22, so it's what, 22 grams of sugar? I'll take it, give me, give me the sugar. Okay. So, something, uh, <laughs> all right, all right. First and foremost, <laughs> how do I even say it, like, I know a, a, a lot of my audience likes to see what they want to see. They like to hear what they want to hear. Uh, you know, that's that's not what I'm trying to present at all with this information or, or these videos or anything like that. Um, uh, yeah, like, I'm in no means saying that this, this kind of behavior is okay. I'm not saying that. Uh, I'm not endorsing this kind of behavior. I'm not saying this behavior should not be taken seriously. You know, I'm not saying sexual harassment is okay. I'm not saying people should be using apps in this manner. I'm not saying gig workers should be treated this way. I'm not saying any of that. But holy fuck did I have a good laugh at this. <laughs> we here today. And you know why I think it's kind of funny? Because it actually happened to a friend of mine, to someone I know personally. And I, you know, people I know personally, my friends, my family, when crazy things happen, you like to like to jab at them a little bit. You know, ask, ask the girlfriend, she's right here. You know, whenever, whenever something crazy happens to her, I always, I always make jokes about it. There she is. Hold on, I'm gonna wait for her to come by so I can say hi to her. She's probably gonna tell me to get lost. Hold on. She might need help with groceries. Hold on one second. And I'm back. All right. So anyway, you like uh, with my odd sense of humor right i've always um like you know what's funny is when i used to play poker like so i'm adding all these things for context because my audience likes to hear what they want to hear and see what they want to see and all that stuff like when i used to play poker um i used to go to the horseshoe in indiana in uh, hammond indiana that was my favorite place to play um and a lot of times i would be sitting there and and you know you're you're chatting it up with the other players, and very frequently people would be like, "What uh, what branch of the military? What branch of the military did I serve in?" Or they'd be like, "What what branch did you serve in?" And I told them like, "I never served. I uh, I, ne I never served. I'm a civilian." And I'd be like, "Oh, that's surprising, you know, because they see the buzz cut. They always be like, "Oh, well, we figure with, with the buzz cut and the tattoos and your and your sense of humor, like you you definitely seem like you're ex-military." And I would explain, like, no, I just had a lot of degenerate friends growing up. Um, you know, like, when I was 19, 20 years old, and I was, you know, doing my pro wrestling. Like, all my friends, all my closest friends were my pro wrestling friends. And all of them were in their mid to late 30s. 
you know, and they all had, you know, really depraved senses of humor. So that's where I got my sense of humor from. That's what really shaped my personality was those fucking imbeciles, you know? So yeah, like I, a lot of people say I come off as ex-military because of my, 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 my attitude towards things and how kind of fucked up I am. Anyway. Um, so, so when this happens to a friend of mine and like I said, and like I said, and this is something that happens to all gig workers, male or female, you're going to be hit on, you know, like whenever I was hit on back when I was doing ride share more, typically it was from a gay male. I never held, I never held that against gay people. I'm saying if I was going to get hit on more than likely a gay dude, right? Uh, that's just what happens when you drive late nights on Saturday, Sundays, and you get all kinds of people in here and they've been drinking. Yeah, it's going to happen. Um, you know, but this happened on a Sunday afternoon to a tasker. Uh, it appears that this person was on TaskRabbit. This is probably going to get demonetized. Uh, trolling for dick. Just <laughs> This person was using uh, an app to find professionals in a category. I mean, whenever someone says like, oh my God, you're, you're, you're an expert mover. I'm like, no, nope, I'm a semi-professional. Not a professional, semi-professional. Uh, so, you know, this person was looking for experts in certain categories instead of using them for the categories listed was using them to whatever weird shit they're into. I don't know. Um, but the client that the story is about was a male, the tasker that this story that this happened to earlier today was a male, a straight male. Uh, and I guess it went down. I didn't get all the details from my buddy. He did send me a couple of the screenshots though. <laughs> so I guess the, the job came out and the client says, hello. I guess he didn't get a response quick enough. I gave his, gave his number right away, which obviously I'm going to blank out. So let's get this up here. So you guys, you guys can see the screenshots more better, more better. Um, uh, I, I can Venmo you money if you can help 10 minutes max time. We'll pay you $100. Tasker says, okay. Like, oh, that seems like a pretty good deal, right? As of right now, you're like, oh, I'm going to make, I'm going to make, uh, I'm going to make a hundred bucks for 10 minutes. That seems pretty fucking cool. He responds back 20 minutes later. I can be there by 1230. Uh, client, I can Venmo you more money. <laughs> yes, I have Venmo. Uh, client. Client says, okay, how much you looking to get? Gives his number again. Says, text me. Tasker says, I'm driving right now. This is at noon. At 12.15, I can have the door open ready for you. At 12.16, he says, okay. And I want to say that's 12.20. <laughs> I'm sorry for laughing. <laughs> this is so fucking ridiculous. At 12.20, I think, because he, he didn't send me the screenshot that well. I can be door open on my knees for you waiting. And he didn't send me the screenshot of what happened after that, but he said that he immediately stopped the car, invoiced the client, gave him a thumbs down, and then went back home. <laughs> and then messaged me and told me what happened. Now, like I said, I'm not, I, I'm laughing. I'm not laughing that my, my friend was Essentially, he was sexually harassed during this. I'm laughing at the ridiculousness of this, right? Like, this doesn't happen all the time. This is not supposed to happen on It's not supposed to happen in any kind of professional setting or anything like that. Um, the fact is, this happened over the, the Task Rabbit chat. Right? Like, I've never, like, I've never heard of this happen. I've, this this might be the first video you're going to see on this kind of thing. It's absolutely ridiculous. Um, 
it's unbelievable. It's gross, obviously. But to, like I said, the fact that like the 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 forwardness of this client is absolutely insane. Like I have to think, I have to imagine this dude was fucking drunk or some or yeah, like super drunk in the middle of the day and just looking looking for a hookup, willing to pay for a hookup. Right, we just found a random tasker. I mean, this 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 tasker, he, he's not a bad looking guy. I mean, he's not a, he's not a great looking guy. He's not a bad looking guy. Um, you know, and that's that's yeah, that's a bad canon compliment to him. You're welcome. Um, it's it's not yeah, like this client was this this ta this person on task rabbit was literally just looking for dick was willing to pay for dick on a Sunday afternoon. How fucking crazy is that's <laughs> I'm laughing at the ridiculousness of this, right? Um and like I said, I don't mean this this is not undermining people that get sexually harassed. Um, you know, like I was talking to him and talked to Bam about this. I'm like, look, sexual harassment is real, it does happen. You know, whenever women get sexually harassed, obviously they take it seriously uh because i mean at least in my opinion as a as a straight uh as a straight male as a you know as a 21st century straight male i understand that you know women and this is not like trying to like i'm not trying to undermine anything right now i'm really not you know but like women essentially if you're a woman you spend your entire life just you know men are just trying to get in your pants that's that's how it is that's you know from you're gonna deal with that your entire life right and yeah it's gross right with men we, we typically men don't deal with being come on to in this manner right like we don't have the experience with it, it doesn't happen that frequently at least compared to women Right, at least, or at least in my opinion, it doesn't. I don't know. Maybe some of you, maybe some of you get, you know, some of you men out there are getting, you know, harassed on a weekly, monthly basis. I don't know. I don't know. Um, like I said, I, I think the story is ridiculous. I was fucking with him. I was asking him, like, this is just my sense of humor here. Asking him, I'm like, oh, if you didn't do it for a hundred bucks, what would it cost you to get it? <laughs> And then he actually started thinking about it. He's like, oh, I don't know, man. Maybe, maybe, maybe for a thousand, maybe. <laughs> I told him, though, after I was done messing with him, uh, I told him, you know, obviously message support about this, me message task grab support about this, uh, inform them of the situation. You know, don't, don't, even though it doesn't, so, so client, uh, task grab its uh, support, is pretty good you know it does seem like they're they're not as fucking stupid as uber or lyft or instacart so their support is actually pretty good support um so uh, you know i told him to get ahead of this one message them let them be aware of the situation because obviously this happened through the chat thread you know because like i all the time like you know when as a as a tasker clients will, will put their phone numbers in there I always try to like message them through the chat thread <laughs> just to, just to keep that communication open. And, you know, I want everything to be on a chat thread, you know, that's, that's okay with me. Um, so yeah, so obviously this is all on the chat thread. So chat, so task driver can go back. They can see that this, that this tasker was not like leading on the client or trying to solicit this kind of this kind of talk or behavior and they will see this was all the client acting acting in this fucking crazy way so they would not hold it against the tasker i hope um so like i said i, I hope he reached out to task rabbit and talked to him and let him know what happened um but yeah crazy shit out here man you, you, you know like i said I, i'm laughing at the ridiculousness of it i'm not laughing at the fact that like it is something to be taken seriously. Um, like I said, this this you, we've all heard the stories about Uber and Lyft, uh, you know, 
Uber drivers fucking kidnapping passengers, assaulting passengers. Uh, that's that has happened. I mean, was it a year and a half ago that came out and said there was like fuck? It was a stupid amount of like actual like criminal complaints against like Uber and Lyft or Uber. That was Uber drivers. It was a crazy amount. Um, but yeah, now like it's clearly happening on other apps. Um, I've never seen this kind of shit happen through a um, uh, an Instacart chat thing. I've never seen this happening. You know, I've seen people like things like messages got auto-corrected and shit on this card where like it came out looking stupid or yeah you know whatever it, that, i've seen that i've seen that on the on the subreddits and stuff like that um but this this is a whole nother level this is uh this is yeah it's wild um i'm wondering like since since uh the the, the tasker that did it cancel or invoiced him for the job um, and didn't do it. I'm wondering if this guy got discouraged and just like, oh, I'm never going to do that again. Or did he just go down the line and try to find another, another decent looking tasker to try to pull this shit on? Who the fuck knows? Yeah. Crazy shit out here. All right, guys. That's all I got for this one. I want to thank you all for watching. Everyone, please stay safe, stay driven, stay healthy, stay classy. Like I said, I'm not undermining shit. I just think this is fucking ridiculous. So, all right, guys. Yeah. Take care. Bye-bye.